Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. So, we technically finished up the Blood and Wine DLC, but my ending was not the happiest um, that I feel it, it could have been. Um, there was a lot of death, and I feel as if I could be going for perhaps a little bit less death. Like a, like a little bit. Um, so we're going to try to go for another perhaps happier ending here. Um, so I think we're gonna go after Sayana instead of going after like the elder vampire. Okay, that whole thing was sweet though. That was like a really cool thing. The boss fight was like awesome. The whole thing was cool. But it did not lead to happiness ultimately. So we're gonna see if we can manage uh, to make that work. Let's get into it. Something's not right, huh? What do you want to be spirit? I heard someone. Oh, oh, oh. Ah? Huh? Give me peace, peace. What makes you insist on me as your victim? Why choose me to torment? Be gone, foul spirit. So, Roach it was? Or something? Evidently? You're tormented. By what? Forgive me. But I must ask directly. Are you a man? I... I no longer trust my senses. A witcher? Not exactly. I'm a witcher. Quite a few folk think I don't deserve to be classified as a member of the human species. I don't know. Is that what she's no, asking? Like, I... A witcher? But no, nor can you help me. We'll see. Yeah, Just tell see. me what the problem is. Huh? A foulness, a demon or wraith haunts me, grants me no rest. It wants something. I sense this, but know not what. Each day it appears, tarries, then leaves. It's here now, there, beyond the trees. Don't see a thing. Of course not. It cannot be seen. Yet you see it? Only when I drink the brew, which brings a pain to my head. Nausea. But I endured these to keep an eye on the wraith, my tormentor. Okay. This demon of yours, can you describe it? It is an enormous horse. Its hoofbeats pounding in the dark. It gallops to me, stops. Stairs, then runs on. Sure it's not just a wild horse, run of the mill? The creature is not of this world. When it gazes at me, a terrible chill pervades my soul. It is evil condensed. Its eyes black, void. Each time it comes, terror grips me. I cease what I'm doing. Still my breath and heart. Weird. Uh. Uh. What's your brew made of? Yeah, what's what is Gotta that? Gotta wonder what's huh? causing such strong visions. You drop in some mushroom, <laughs> chamber like... tub, dancing do that. Close. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Grey top. Variety's extinct, if I recall so, correctly. So mushroom. Nearly, but not quite. Oh. Old I was able to grow a few that from dried spores. From spores? I'd hoped a brew of Grey Top would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. As far as I know, Grey Top produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact, reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Yes, I see. Can it? Ma magical, huh? Better that than to know it is there, but <laughs> not know where. Stop taking hallucinogens. Problem will go away on its own. No. <laughs> <sighs> how much you paying? Need to talk about how much I'll get paid first. Is it gold you want? Orans or Novigrad crowns. Florins will work too. I've none of any coin. I've nothing, in fact. Just potatoes in the cellar. Potato. A good crop this year. Tend to this quickly, completely, and several sacks will be yours. Agreed. Potatoes for pay. 
Why not? Don't have a choice, I guess. Potatoes it is, but how many? He's like, how many potatoes are we talking? How many? Oh my god, we actually are negotiating on potatoes. Wait, no, that's amazing. I want 75 potatoes. Take it or leave it. I feel we could agree. <gasps> Were you to go a few lower? <laughs> oh, she drives a hard bargain on potatoes. 70 potatoes? I feel we could agree. Were you to go a few lower? The How few potatoes do you want me to have? Only 65 potatoes? Am I a peasant? I... 69? Is Jack... Okay. The... If this works... Agreed. I... That many I no. can spare. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why did that work? <laughs> Fine. I will help you for 69 sure potatoes. I'll see what oh I can do. Start by taking a look around. I was trying to be the mature one, all right? I... <laughs> That's good. Medallion's vibrating. Magic nearby. Just can't see a source anywhere. <laughs> okay. What quest is this? Let me see. We do not have the quest chart. Is the contract? Equine phantoms, yes. I have oft heard Geralt boast that in terms of monsters, he firmly believes he has seen it all. Yet what he encountered on this occasion demanded that he revise that view. While traveling through Toussaint, he happened upon a female hermit who claimed she, an invisible specter, was tormenting her and would be her end. The Witcher was skeptical, not least because he could not imagine how he might defeat something invisible. The woman's suffering seemed so intense, however, that he resolved to try to help her. All right, all right. This is just random. Like, there's not many like blood and wine quests that are back. My feet, tight as the grave. Back in this main area. What's down here? Mm. What do we have? Okay, well that's our potatoes. Wait, I, I shouldn't steal the potatoes. Wait, those are potatoes. I can steal the potatoes. No, I'm not stealing the potatoes. Are they all just full of potatoes? Yes, they're all just, I'm not taking them. I'm not stealing the potatoes. We had a deal. We have a potato bargain. All right. I must be honest about the potatoes. So that's something. Um, what else is something? How about over here? What's this? That I can take, that's not hers. That was not part of the deal. Neither was that. I cannot shut my eyes for fear the nightmare comes again. Huh. I don't know if that has anything to do with that. Let's check out the house. Dead moths. Attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle. Hmm. Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. Well, the cats do not like Geralt here. Hello, sons and daughters of Leviota. The end is nigh. Mend your ways and put your faith in the good tome. For our prophet has written, To shun the pleasures of the flesh and shirk from comfort is at times recommended, and to value one's neighbor's fortune above one's own comfort is commendable. That is why we, the Eighth Day Flagellants, scourge ourselves and torment our flesh to ensure all folk of the world enjoy long and prosperous lives. What? Huh? Anyways. Come in gray top. Strong hallucinogen. Thought extinct. Don't often get to see that. Drops of blood on the pillow. Trail of them leading to the window. Something drinks the hermit's blood at night. That I know. Gotta 
to talk to her. Maybe she can tell me something more. Anything else I really want? I won't take all her stuff. Okay, I do kind of want the ingredients, though. I will take those. Sorry. To banish you. To rid myself of this torment. Witcher. Yeah, is that... Was it? Heard flagellants whip themselves to atone for all humankind's wrongs. To appease the gods, yeah, gain their forgiveness. That? that why you do it? We've each our own reasons. I seek to atone for the suffering of a living being, which once fell victim to another's vanity. I care not for humankind, preferring instead the company of animals. Most likely some kind of wraiths tormenting you. Can't tell what kind, though. Felt weak, spent lately? Notice bite marks on your skin? As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites, of course. There are lice and midges here aplenty. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. But I do not sleep. Not a wink. He's always present, always watching. I cannot bear it any longer. Sadly, not much I can do. Can't exterminate it if I can't see it. Oh, I see Agreed. where they're going with this. I shall make a brew of it for you. Yep, okay. I have two mushrooms left. Enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what I do. This mushroom, Warning. even in me, could produce some nasty, unpredictable side effects. True. There is no knowing how Great Top would affect a mutated body. Well. Hmm. Proper brew could be our only chance to figure this out. Here we go. All right. High time we tried this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. What was that? We haven't even had it yet. If I start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses, ignore it. <laughs> unicorns, huh? Let's see. Do we see any unicorns? Guess we're gonna find out. Is Roach gonna turn into a unicorn? Geralt, you good? He doesn't look so good. Geralt, you you okay? He's not. Why does he look so scared? Like ah, what, Geralt? Take something strong to do that to Geralt. Like what? Geralt, you okay? Come on, why is this lady not checking in on him? Making sure he's like comfortable or something. It, she should know, right. it's a nightmare I'm potion for her. Like, what? Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Who said I... that? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. No. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. No, I... Roach? No! <laughs> Why are you so so mean? Why... <laughs> Your voice. It's, uh... Interesting. Gotta say, I expected yeah. a young man. Yeah, Roach is a lady! I'm sorry! Roach. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? As far as I know, I'm your first. I... Good point. Geralt hasn't played Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I... Yeah, mushroom? Must be the huh? brew that did this. 
Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers I could give you. Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the voice is like, what? That is not... If they were gonna give Roach a voice, that is not what I was expecting. <laughs> Why do you always show up when I whistle? Hey, you know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. Still kind of strange how you cross the ocean when I call sometimes, but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? <laughs> true, true. Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. <laughs> I can't. What is this? <laughs> I, I, okay, but. but Okay, but I've been saying a lot during the game, like, why you keep running in this... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Um... Let's go? Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me. And try not to trample any plants or small animals. <laughs> I... Okay, Roach, technically you're doing the trampling. I'm doing the, the guiding. Geralt, we gotta inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? I'm sorry, help Roach investigate the area? Don't see anything here. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses, either. These were left by an astral being. Or the worldly. We gotta follow them. Geralt, look! This here's definitely a clue! I I'm speechless. Dead moths often mean a phantom's nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of death. Smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh, seriously? It's like, no, obviously. Okay, anything to find? All right. Now I know what we're up against. Hey, cat? Greetings. Wait, I... Right, Geralt. Let's Wait. sum up what we know so far. Why did talking to the cat do that? Why did talking to the cat make me talk to Ro- What? Uh... Wraith? We're dealing with some kind of wraith or phantom, most likely. Okay. It visits the hermit at night, drinks her blood. Even if we manage to find it, I've got no idea how I could possibly fight it. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an umbra, an immaterial wraith. This one's assumed the form of a horse. Oh, a wraith horse. An umbra. Wraith Actually horse? makes sense. <laughs> Umbrae are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, Doofus. It's right over there. Doofus? Dang, Roach is fed up today. It's getting uh... away! Come on, Witcher! Hop in the saddle! Gotta catch it! Let's ride? Can you give us, like, a, the Barbie? Let's ride. That's Come it, on. Roach. There's the Umbra! Let's go, Geralt! After it! Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. There hey! we go. Gotta save my strength a bit. No telling how long we're gonna need to keep running. Oh, what do you mean? Geralt, we gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. Excuse You'd really me. do me a solid if you could uh, apply a slightly surer hand 
be a little more decisive about where you want me to go? <sighs> me like Sometimes this? I got what no idea, it? buddy. Do I go uh, left? Buddy? Right? Don't buddy me. I'm standing? Yeah, and it'd be Guy. Great to <laughs> hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern, and the innkeeper says, Hey, pal, why the long face? <laughs> Let's not lose sight of that umbra. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Run, Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <gasps> I... Roach! Roach! I... Oh! Okay! Roach is done with Geralt's shit today. As long as we're being candid, I gotta ask. Why do you sometimes buck me off in the middle of a fight? First I've heard. I don't recall that ever happening. He's never scared. Of course you don't. We just forever ago melted into thin air. Oh, fuck! Girls, watch out! Roach, stop cursing! Watch your language! Good gods! Which one of you ever good gaming cats? Why is my Yurden not Yurdening? Where's all my gear? Yep, there it is, the, the gloves. I'm like, what? Yurden is not Yurdening. Knight. Died last year. Was more or less the same age as our hermit. Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. Thinking aloud, that's all. Helps me focus. Nice. Roach has an education, everyone. Watch out. <laughs> Geralt, it's the Umbra! Attack! Let me explain! Talk, but make it fast. Why are you tormenting the Hermit? She torments me! Refuses to forgive me! I'm denied peace in the afterlife, and it's all her doing! Each day I and come and beg her Roach for clemency! Doing? It's Roach's doing? Beg her for clemency? You drink her blood, drive her mad with fear. Wait, what? No. I don't know how to explain it, but yes! The monstrous force Okay, takes yeah, the hermit, me. okay, yeah, that lady. Though okay, I that also was, know like, I'll what? not have peace till the day Pinastri forgives me. Okay, okay, what's, what's the deal? You and the hermit, how do you know each other? We met as babes, grew up side by side. I... I loved her. Yet she was always sad. Nothing could cheer her. The world terrified her. I thought her gloom came from being poor. So I did my damnness to take us from our village, make us a better life elsewhere. Became a squire, took her with me to the palace. But Panastri soon learned nobles are no more decent than peasants, not a speck. Once even I'd grown vile to her eyes, she fled the palace and joined the flagellants. I left the court to be near her, 
Yet she cast me off. Said she didn't want to know me. Weird. What happened there? When the whip bearers proved too hard-hearted for her too, she became a hermit. I see it clearly now. She never wanted that life? Though I never understood her while alive. From the grave's dark depth, the living are bright, sharp flares. You see all their thoughts at once. Now I understand why she had to cast me off. Hmm. She's full of rage. Probably what turned you into an Umbra. Hmm. The horse? Symbolic, or...? Why take the form of a horse? A horse? What do you mean? Each day since I died, a power lifts me from my grave and, and makes me run. Then I return with blood in my mouth. I don't know what this is, how it comes to pass, but I do know the torment will continue until she forgives me. But she sees me as a horse, you say? Yes. Seems so. Same way I saw Not you. Not intentional? Weird. Must have hurt her something awful if she refuses to forgive you. Would rather see you suffer. What did you do? To her? Nothing. But my horse, I... Oh. I have flogged it to death. Oh. Pinastri, she saw this. Yikes. A proud stallion, my blaze. But he was a bucker and tossed me during a tourney. One I'd wanted to win badly. Uh, Pinastri had been so glad they'd let me stand. Uh, me. I'm sorry, why now? A peasant's son. I wanted to win it for her. But that horse made me loose. Rage overcame me. I struck and struck until at last he fell. Well, that explains the horse thing. Goodness. Well, um. Oh, the regret. I wonder why I she beg didn't you forgive to me. Something. Absolve me in Blaze's very name. Oh no. All right. At least he feels bad about it now. At least I'll take. At least he like does it not. Like at least he's not like. Oh yeah, I feel great about it. You know, like so I. I, yeah, no, I, we're not the one that we should ask. Like, no. I don't know if he deserves it, but that's not up to us. Can't forgive you for that. Not in my power. But your horse could. What? Please, I'd do anything. No, I'm desperate. <laughs> Help me. Your horse could? Noble mare, forgive me my sin. I... I... He killed a horse! I'm not gonna tell Roach to forgive him. No. Anyone who flogs a horse to death on account of some silly tourney deserves a fate this bad. Let's kick his astral ass, Geralt. For Blaze! For Blaze! Poor hermit. Won't let you torment her again. <laughs> I did what I had to do. Right. Agreed. Let's head back to the hermits. Let's see. But she wanted me to forgive him? I don't know. Drove off the Phantom, but it'll be back sooner or later. It'll keep coming till you forgive Marcello his deed. It's his specter that torments you. I would never forgive him. Never. Petty rage drove him Maybe it would have been a good thing to tell Roach to do it, but... to death. He's an evil man who deserves no mercy. He'll never let you rest if you don't forgive him. 
I cannot forgive him. Oh. He'll get no pardon from me. Oh. If I too must suffer for his sin, so be it. Such is my fate. Oh. Yet still I thank you. She's for like, if I must suffer for him to suffer, so be it. <laughs> grants me some respite. There's that at least. Uh, uh, what? As agreed. Take this for your trouble. Okay, maybe I should have told the ropes to forgive. <laughs> what? Don't want to forgive him? Don't have to. But if that's the case, draw salt lines along your threshold, on your window sills. Might keep him out. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. I mean, good witch tip. Gotta admit, easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path, ride to the nearest notice board, rustle up another contract? Exactly. Though, effects of the bruise waning, I can feel it. Won't be able to understand you soon. Oh. Ah, that's horseshit. I mean, I got so much more I want to tell you, and... <laughs> Clever beast's Oh, horses. he looks so sad. Farewell, Witcher. Did she hear him too? Did you hear her? It's the voice. I. <laughs> you good, Roach? You good? <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. That's amazing. You can come back in a while? Okay, interesting. We'll have to see eventually. That's amazing. I kind of wish I would have done this on our on our other save. That's okay. It doesn't matter. That is amazing. Okay, so we have to save over an old one now. I was wondering how many it would let me have. Okay. That is... <laughs> what? I did... You guys, I do not know what I was expecting. But that was amazing. I was really confused at first, and my house is related to Roach. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, um, that's a good one. I am happy that we did that. So we still have our other thing to do, so we want to check out our other ending. We're going to do that here. Oop, let's get to that one. We're going to load into there. In just a second here. Um, I... I'm gonna just grab um, a cup of tea real fast. I feel like I would really love one. Um, and then we're gonna get into the other ending. 